okay hello friends this is if here welcome to another python video but this is going to be a problem based video so we have just learned list and dictionaries in couple of videos but the thing is just learning the syntax and then seeing how it works is not helpful we should solve the problems by our own uh, to get more understanding so with that thing, thing in mind right so i have come up with two uh, problems and i'm going to solve it in this uh, video also but first i will tell you how the problem is so that you can try by yourself and then uh, you can watch the video if you want okay the first one is actually um, problems based on listen dictionary which is uh, counting the number of characters in a string so it's simple so you should get a string from the user or the input and then you just need to list down the each character and the number of times it occurs so say for example here the use of is the string which means uh, y u s u f the so u occurs two times then i'm just listing down okay so you can use a dictionary for this it's very straightforward second is little bit of interesting finding who wins first in a dice game so say for example there are two players player 1 and player 2 both are rolling the dice uh, one after another okay so we can get a maximum score from the user which is how much the score is a winning score okay so player 1 starts to roll and then player 2 starts to roll so either in each turn he can get a value from 1 to 6 so we just need to add the values for each person and then whoever reaches the top score will be winning so here we will be having a question like how will we get a random number between 1 to 6 each time so for that i'll just explain how to do it and then you can do the remaining stuff so first of all let me show you uh, the output first okay so yeah so here if i turn it right so it is asking for me for a string so as you might give my name and it tells that what is the number of characters occurs how many times this is actually the output for the first problem and if you go to second problem right if you run it first it is asking me for a score say for example i give the score 60 okay and then as soon as i press enter it tells player 1 wins he got 62 first and player 2 got just 42 and then in each turn how much he got that uh, list also is displayed so if i run it again right so if i say score is uh, maybe 80 uh, i here see player 2 wins so this is the beauty of the random thing right so when you roll the dice we don't know who will get what in each turn so based on uh, who gets more is going to be a uh, winning strategy so this is the uh, output i required so you can try by your own and then if you have any doubt you can come back and watch me now let me code the code by myself so already i have the code i will just going to delete it and then recreate it okay before that Uh, you will be having a doubt how to get the random uh, number right right i'll tell that so we have a module called random okay so you just need to do import random in your program once you do that do that right if you give a uh, dir of random you will be able to see what is the functions available in that library you can see there is a thing called randint okay this is called randint it's called a random integer so if you say that uh, random dot randint and it takes two parameters one is starting and then ending okay so if you have 1, 6 and it gives me a value between 1 and 6 okay if you have doubt you can simply say like for i in range of 10 i'm going to print uh, random dot rand int of 1, 6 oh, what happened oh, yeah, i missed another thing okay for i in range range of 1 sorry range of 10 print random dot randint of 1,6 so here you can see it prints the values between 1 and 6 so randomly so you can use this for uh, getting the random number okay now let's go back to this thing so let me delete this fine so what i'm going to do like simply first i need to get the string right so i can say str is equal to input of uh, enter the string so now i'll get the value in str and you all know right if it is a string we can just use a for loop to go through one by one so for, for l in str i can just print the l which will just print the number i mean the character one by one now the thing is i should check this particular character one by one i should increment the value to one so what what i'm going to do i'm going to use a dictionary so letter count equal to a dictionary because the beauty of dictionary is you can have a key value pair okay so i can have the key as the letter and then value as the number of time it occurs okay fine so first if you are a normal or 
regular programmer okay who doesn't know uh, the python uh, inbuilt functions you can think like that so first we need to check if that letter is already available in the dictionary or not if it is not available then we should say it's the first time the letter is coming if it's already available then we should add the value to the existing value right so what we can do something like to check if a key is already available we can just check like if that key which is the l in letter count so even this will give us true or false so if it is true then the letter is already available so what we need to do we need to say letter count of that particular key l plus equal to 1 okay i'm just incrementing the value to 1 if suppose else then we don't have the letter at all so we can say letter count of l it's a first time coming so i'm going to say 1 so that's it i think so if it print the letter count i should be able to see the result so let's start if I say Amar Yusuf, okay, you can see the value is available. So just to print this in a proper manner, we can simply say something like, uh, we can go through the dictionary. So for k comma v in uh, letter count dot items, okay, then I can just say print. Want to print k comma v, and to just illustrate, I can put something like this, okay. Okay, great. So we got the result as expected. So now let me give another tip. So because it's Python, right? Uh, this is a logical program, okay? But we have in Python, we know, right? We learned about set default. There is a one method, set default, uh, which will set the value to default value if it is not available. So what I'm going to do here for i in str, initially I'm going to say letter count dot set the t set default of that particular key comma okay 0 okay what this will do if the l is already available it won't do nothing if it is not available it will initialize this 0 so which means after that right i can surely say that letter l will be available in the key with some value or a zero value so i can simply say letter count of l because now it's available plus equal to 1 so now if you run it right you should get the same result Watch Okay, that's cool. So that's actually a Python function which we can use it uh, instead of this much coding. Okay, I hope this is clear. We move on to the next coding, which is the uh, interesting one, dice based. Okay, so let me take this out. Okay, first let me import random. Okay, then I have I'm gonna have p1 comma p2 two variable names which is going to hold the two list. Okay, here we'll append the each value from each turn, and I'm gonna have uh, total 1 comma total 2 is equals to uh, this is going to be simply some two integers okay then i'm going to run the loop endlessly okay while true it keeps running first we, the person one rolls the dial so i'm going to say uh, value 1 equal to random dot rand int of 1 comma 6 now i'll get a random value so it is belongs to the person one so what i should do i should track that right so which means p1 dot up and v1 so now it will be added in the, into the list then total 1 plus equal to v1 because i'm adding the value to the total uh, uh, score also okay then fine then you can think like after the person 1 dies we'll do v2 is equals to random dot rand int of 1 comma 6 and it will be added in p2 list and then total 2 plus equal to v2 now this is okay but the thing is when the turns are coming like person 1 person 2 person 1 person 2 if the person 1 wins side we should come out we should not allow the person 2 to, to roll the dice again so which means I'll, i need to put a if condition here if total 1 is greater than or equal to the score which we are going to take okay uh, in this case i'll just do a break okay and here also if total 2 is greater than or equal to score i can just break what is the score we can get the score is equal to input of enter score but this input will give us the string so i'll convert into integer okay and that's it so once after this while loop right we get the p1 p2 total 1 total 2 all the four variables will be having the values so i can print like print uh, total 1 comma p1 and print total 2 comma p2 so let's see if this works 
So it's asking the score I give 50 and you can see we got 49 for person 1 and for 50 for person 2. So in this case person 2 wins right. So to tell that what we can simply say in this thing if the p1 is greater than p2 then print player 1 wins else print player 2 wins. I think that's it we finished let's try let me give 100 okay so you see player 1 oh okay okay we have a problem you should not say player 1 wins because okay 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 what is the problem here Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, we should compare the total. Come on, man. P1, P2 means it's the list. <laughs> okay. Great. So, player 1 wins because he got the highest score and this is the turns he got the value. So, that's it for this video. Hope this uh, this was an interesting video and then you, if you tried by yourself, I hope you would have figured out how to do it. Uh, I'll see you in the next video with the next part of the tutorial. Thank you.